Life since my burnout. Welcome. It's all going to look a little different from now on. We wanted to say a big thank you for all of your emails, messages, and comments of love and support. It really means a lot. Whilst I continue to focus on my health, it was decided that a peaceful week with you guys was in order. So slow down with us for a whole hour today as we head back to our 35 foot sailboat from Bali and hit up some gorgeous islands off the coast of Lombok, Indonesia. Once we were clear of the aeroplane jets, we'd be in Lombok, the island next to Bali, which would be a breath of fresh air we desperately needed. Why are we floating away about anything on? How's the local bootman? Oh, he's okay. good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come to me, jungle friends. What a morning. You guys, we had about an hour to pack for a full month of sailing on this 35-foot sailboat Calyp Day, which you guys actually saw before my breakdown. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. It's not funny. It's a very serious matter. Uh, but we're back. We're back aboard. We're borrowing this boat from a friend because as you guys know, there's another delay with our trimaran. But we're not complaining. We're loving mixing it up. And yeah, it just feels really different to be back, to be filming with you guys again. I feel like we're filming with more intention now. Um, and yeah, just slowing down on the work side of things. So you can expect some lovely, slow paced videos coming up. You guys have responded really well to that format. And those are the videos we wanna make, just capturing the beauty, putting more effort into the videography. So yeah, we're feeling inspired. I'm excited to be back at the boat. I actually just dropped off the kids and Riley to the restaurant to grab a fruit platter whilst I unpack all of our stuff because it's a lot easier just for one person to unpack without the kids unpacking what I've unpacked, if that makes sense. <laughs> Hot in here. Well, I'm really surprised. There's only a tiny bit of mold in here. I thought this whole place would just spring to life with green moss all over the walls, but yeah, just a tiny bit in the bathroom, um, which is good considering we had it closed up for a whole month doesn't smell too bad. I keep expecting like an animal to jump out at me or a cockroach or something, but no wildlife so far. We have a clean boat and she's gonna feel like home again in not too long. She's gonna clean the mold up. I will spare you the sight, the horrible sight, which is that of a watermelon I left in the fridge. So I spoke too soon. It's a bit of a fridge disaster. So I will leave up to your imagination. You're welcome. What you doing, babe? Taking out the kids are building a wall. Yeah, what are you building? Is it a fire? You're going to build a fire? Yeah. We are building our, our collection. Okay. And I got some shells. Nice. And we're making a drum. I swear he was saying Australia. As you can mm -hmm. see by how Riley's holding himself here, it might be a tad obvious that we decided to put in some extra effort to carve out more time just for us. 
Without phones or the business chats, as tempting as it is to live in the future in your mind, myself in particular needed a reminder just to chill in the present. Over the next few days, we'd be preparing our vessel for our next passage. Yeah, there's no, there's no water on the boat, so we're just having a shower. Here, quickly. Aren't we, mate? <laughs> Where are you having a shower, bud? Um, I'll just rinse my legs and then I'll just... <laughs> just have a shower a, here. I'll use, I don't have any bikinis. I can't go naked. You don't need to go naked. Well, what do I, what do I shower in? My clothes? Yeah. That's really weird. Just wear, you wear your wet clothes home and then hang them up and go naked inside. I'd rather go to bed <laughs> sweaty than do that. <laughs> really? Yeah. Why? <laughs> You're weird. <laughs> it's not that cold. <laughs> Good job, you're so brave. All right, you need to wash your face. Your face you got has got all sand on it. The wind up high is blowing that cloud that way. You can easily fake it. Mummy, why did they make it old? Why is this old, Mummy? This, why is this thing old? Why is this thing old? Whilst Riley was putting Darwin to sleep, which is the new sleeping arrangement, we're just trying to avoid my boobies and Darwin. We need to separate. Um, he still wants them. Anyway, whilst Riley was putting Darwin to sleep, me and Lenny were outside and he said to me, Mama, this boat's so old. Is it all going to fall apart? And I was like, no. Do the thing about his hand. Oh, I think we've already told everyone. Have we? That first, was the funniest thing. Yeah, the first sail we ever went on on this boat. And we did pull out the sails, but there wasn't much wind. And we were going like two knots. And he said to me and Riley, he was like, Why is it going like this? We were watching him for like five seconds and then we understood <laughs> what he was doing. And he was just moving really slow. And we clicked. Absolutely cacked our pants. <laughs> that was, was the funniest like, he's ever so been. So <laughs> funny. So this is this is new for him anyway. And he just he just found a broken clip outside. He was like, Mama, look, this is broken, and it was broken, but Riley fixed it. So that was funny. Riley's Lenny's just dissing this boat so much. Not dissing, he just no, he he's is intrigued. <laughs> that he's and it's dissing. funny because yeah. it's he's like he, it's he innocent. Can get... He's not being a snob. Tomorrow we stock up the fridge with healthy things. Okay. Why? Well, because if we eat too much sugar, our teeth will fall out. I just had a shower with about a cup's worth of water that's left in our tanks. And I've come outside to dry, and I cannot believe how many stars are out. I don't think my camera's going to be able to capture it, really. Um, but I wanted to share what I can of this moment with you. And there's the call to prayer. You can hear the singing just in the background. And the occasional splash from a fish. It's just really magical out here right now. It's so beautiful. to share something with you guys. Uh, it is my good friend AG1, which is a formula based on science. Scientists are indicating that everything that is in this bag or little pouch or my tin that I've got inside is essential for human health. So it's been so nice, especially for Riley and I, to not have to think about taking a variety of different supplements. There are 75 vitamins and minerals in here and whole food sourced ingredients. Vitamin and minerals. 
It tastes delicious, most importantly, no one wants to drink something that's like that you screw your face up at. And you just mix it with water. Everyone's got water. Today I got cold water because I was really smart and I put this in the fridge earlier. And you just mix two scoops with every eight ounces of water. There are pre and probiotics in here, which is super important for your gut microbiome, your gut health. It supports your immunity and your energy levels. Full show. Um, I've already got a bunch of my friends hooked and my family. I've sent them a bunch and yeah, it's definitely worth giving it a try if you're looking to up your health in 2023. And it's a product we love and use every day and believe in. So please do take advantage of their incredible offer. They're gonna give you five travel packs for free, which are these bad boys right here, and a year supply of their vitamin D3 and K2 drops. Just let me interrupt here. Mm -hmm. Just so everyone knows, you can open your iPhone with a toothpick. Oh, okay. Okay, please continue. I'll pop the link in the description box below or just head to athleticgreens.com forward slash SLV. Thanks guys. Riley's mum had flown from Australia to visit and sail with us just as there was a solar eclipse. It all felt pretty surreal. Oh, I can see a little bit. Really? Oh my God, yeah. yeah. It's working. Yes, it's working. What? So there's just a hole in here? Yes. And it shows... Oh my god. And then it goes dark, right, does it? <laughs> how did I not know about this? This is amazing. <laughs> That's how we used to do it. Yeah. Cool. What is that? An alligator. What? No way. An alligator. Lizard. Oh my gosh. I think it's an alligator. It must just be like a, a one of those big lizards. I didn't get to film it. Damn it. It's just come to my attention that I was being filmed during that last scene and that probably wasn't an alligator. They do have crocodiles around here. And I might appear quite stupid to some people watching this video. And that's okay, we'll post it anyway. <laughs> Just want you all to know that I noticed. All right, come on, Pen. It's an alligator, it's an alligator. It didn't have any spikes on it. It was definitely a goanna. Pretty good swimming uh, goanna. Whilst Maureen watched the boys on land, it was time to deal with our damn mooring lines, which had become tangled after a month of the boat sitting here and spinning in circles with the tides and the wind. So once we're untied, I'm gonna turn the engine on, right? No, 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 I'm not gonna untie us properly. Okay, just untangle. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I can do, hopefully I can do one and then the other, but I'm gonna need you out here. Yeah, okay. So what's happened, what's happened is because we've been in Bali for a while, this boat has swung around and around as the tide turns around the mooring ball and it's just a, a tangled mess down there. So I'm going to take one off and then the other because we've got two separate lines on it. Um, and then we're going to drive over here to the T section of the dock, fill up with water, grab mum and then cruise. But there's quite a current here, hey? Yeah. I do not know how long this apple has been here for. My gosh. <laughs> so we've got a red and a white line here and they've just wrapped around themselves. So one, they just completely take, in fact, this one's doubled up and it's like a cow hitch. Very annoying. I got this red one done, okay, so I'm going to pass you up, these are the two ends, mm -hmm. it's just going through a loop down here and I've got a bunch of loose stuff in my hand here, can I give that to you? Okay. Now can you turn the engine on? Okay. And then we're gonna take this one off. I think we're tied off on this one, but just to make sure, let's put the engine on. And we should be nearly done. 
Just happened. Oh, we were the anchor wouldn't go down. So before we left the dock, I was like, I need to check the anchor again. I mean, I was showing, but it was a month ago. We went to go down and it was jammed. And then we looked at the electrics and we dicked around. I was this is the manual thing, so you can crank it up, crank it down. So we were mucking around with that. And I, I pulled this out and I dropped it down, and we could bring it up but not down. And then we brought it up and not down again. And then I, I pulled this out and dropped the anchor down again. And all it was, was this little piece back here that locks it in place. Look at this. Which you can see locks it in place there. So, all good, we figured it out. thing to use in these parts of the world is Google Earth with satellite images and with our GPS coordinate on there because all of the other charts are just way off and if you know I mean you can use them as a general guide but when you're getting close to anything you absolutely have to be using Google Earth which is just in this day and age just leaves me gobs gobsmacked the mind boggles my mind was <laughs> We're dodging fish farms or maybe pearl. Maybe they're harvesting pearls? I'm not sure. I'm gonna have a Google of it later and I'll stick it up here on the screen. So you can see in the water here the, the rocks come all the way out and then there's a small channel on the other side of this island. Google Earth looks like you can get through there. See the water getting clearer? Yeah, we are going to China. So I think you can go. Lenny really wants to go to China. He has a kid book and a, the first part of it's in Chinese. Really? Um, and he said, Mama, I want to go to China. So we're going to have to take you there someday. Maybe we'll sail there? Um, I want to 
want you to go there, Mommy, right now. Yeah, but we're still in Indonesia. And China's a bit far. It might take 10 whole days to get there. Uh, it's farther, like, like, like this, Mommy. It's far, yeah. So we can, wait, we're able it, to. Wait, wait, is it, is it actually on? I've had to come in really close to this beach here. We're still 21 meters. And we're probably only, we're probably only, probably only 20 meters from this beach. Ah, uh, we will be 20 meters from this beach in a minute if I don't pay more attention. But uh, it's very deep here, very close to land. And we're just coming up, there's quite a current, and you can see eddies forming right on the ed edge of the sandbank here, followed by a very deep see, the sandbank, and then a rock wall, and it goes down to about 30 metres in the middle of it. That's 18 metres here, and I just need to tuck around and get in. Wait. Elena? Yeah? I think I was just filming, but I think maybe I wasn't. Is that... Oh, is that recording now. Yeah, okay, okay. damn it. That is like a really ancient looking mooring line. We're a bit concerned. But there are like 10 other boats in this mooring field. No strong winds, so we should be fine. But yeah, that is a dodgy, dodgy ancient, as Maureen said, <laughs> looking mooring line. Okay, we'll move. Alright. No problem. We're gonna move. The work is not over. <laughs> we can't relax yet. Let's just get to know each other slow and easily. Oh, take my hand. Okay, we're off. She got bounties to the music. Maybe you stop. So come on, baby. Won't you show some past? facing the wind but this is so tangled um Riley's just decided to stick both on one side so we'll be facing it facing a different direction to the other boats but whatever it's super calm no one notice Now that we've slowed down a bit with our making movies, Elena's got more time to do stuff like that. So if you like these, and you gotta remember, we're filming with a shitty mic. I mean, it's an okay mic for a normal camera, but this is not an audio setup, and Elena sings once a month, maximum. So she that's, that's her at her most raw and terrible. So she's... She is incredible, um, and I've been trying for years to get her to sing. So if you like that, or even if you think that you might like that, <laughs> if she had some training, nah, she's amazing, right? So show her, show her some love in the comments, and if you appreciate the slower pace of these movies and the effort that we're putting in, and um, what we can bring to you guys when we slow down a bit. Give that a like and, I don't know, watch the whole video from start to finish and tell your friends. Um, 
yeah, I'm excited for what the future holds. If she will start singing. She's very stubborn. So Maureen volunteered to sleep on the boat with us, but we thought we'd spare her and we're just finding her cheap accommodation on the way. You know, the kids might wake up, like both of them, once each in the night and I'd rather just Maureen have nice sleeps. Um, yeah, she's on holiday. Are you burying your pants again? Yeah. Lenny! You're gonna not flick sand? Good. Are you gonna not flick sand? Yeah. Good boys. Okay, here you go. Me, me. Johnson? It's better than they gave the credit for. With the kids how they are at the moment, it is astonishing that we mommy, mommy, mommy. it is astonishing that we even are able to like make breakfast and get a bit of work done I can't believe we go yeah anywhere. let's let's give some cred to all the parents out let's there give sailing. some credit to me <laughs> and uh, you just parents in general the kids are heaps fun now yeah but they're like insane <laughs> they, <laughs> they are nuts like they've, they've really started fighting with each other which i love i think it's great i, I love them showing shows personality. personality and revving each other up and picking on each other and just having a laugh but um they are really yeah like we actually have to separate them now yeah. sometimes it's awesome. they're mostly good but yeah we do tear our hair out sometimes <gasps> what is it darwin a pap yeah a big crab or a baby crab? <laughs> no, a big crab or baby Is that what the crab does? Yeah! <laughs> no! No, no! No sand on the crab. Look, there he is. Where? You see him? Look, there he is. No sand! Yeah, no sand, Lenny. Dribbling. Dribbling? Yeah. Um, because he's a baby. And why does he have dribbling like this? Because <laughs> <laughs> he still has the teeth that are growing. And when your teeth grow, you dribble lots. I was a baby, I used to dribble too. You used to dribble, dribble. so much.
and then I help baby Darwin to get up away every Now. Okay. There's nothing very solid about that idea. It Conveniently, Maureen was trying to squeeze in as much quality time with her grandkids as possible before she'd be off again. So Riley and I took the opportunity to dive kid-free. What are we doing, Elena? Well, we just discovered from our cruiser friends that there's a reef with a lot of sea life. Apparently some of it's artificial, but there's some lake coral and yeah, lots of sea life, no sea snakes because we are terrified of those around, uh, just around this point, a place called Pearl Beach. I think there's an abandoned pearl farm around here too. <laughs> I can barely see. I don't know how he sees anything out of this. Oh, he can't. day well spent in Gili Asahan. With the smaller living quarters on board, we've certainly found ourselves appreciating the beach and land even more than we have in the past. Regardless, this boat really did feel like home now. It got me thinking though, when we'd finally launch our 60 foot trimaran in a few months from now, it would have to be a shock. Maybe we wouldn't even know what to do with all this space. Darwin's going to bed now. Can you say, say good night? Good night. Give him a kiss. Yes. <laughs> what have you got in your face, Darwin? Yucky. In you go, mate. In you go. In you go. In you go. What are you looking at? We're not running out of fuel, but the fuel is getting low in the day tank. So we have a day tank, which is 65 litres, and then two other tanks, Port and Sub, which are 85 litres. So it's a weird setup. There's a Coke bottle here, which 
it, it has a breather valve and then a plastic hose over with markings on it but which are like full you know two-thirds full one-third full um, and it's it's now one third full and I need to transfer fuel so yeah to transfer fuel we need to allocate a tank with a valve down here and then hit a switch on there this, this is all it's not complicated but it's there's many processes to deal with here which you wouldn't normally need to do so that's but that's fine um, so one minute of running the pump equals 12 litres and then we should see this come up. Uh, and I'm taking this seriously and reading through because I don't want to make a mistake. It's the engine, it's our only means of propulsion in less than 15 knots of wind on this boat. It's not my boat, I don't want to crash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's lots of currents here. Um, and you're reading Torrens instructions which is the owner of this boat. Yeah, but you know, after reading all of this, I have to flick a switch. Yeah. And then count the seconds. So let's do that. And, but why are we doing this at 9 p.m. at night? Because <laughs> uh, that's when I do my best work. The kids are asleep and we're leaving early tomorrow morning. Okay, here's the timer. Let's begin. That was very unsatisfying. Go again. <laughs> You're gonna break it. Is that satisfying enough for you? That was gross. <laughs> We're gonna wake up the kids. Like about boy. So what's the process here? I don't know. Lift it by hand? Yeah. Really? We could barely lift that thing up the beach. A liner, it's got a it's got a series of pulleys on there. Yeah, so explain that to me, because I'm fascinated right now. Really? Many scholars credit Archimedes with the earliest theoretical development of the pulley. Apparently Archimedes claimed he could move the world if he had enough pulleys. Eventually, King Hieron of Syracuse asked Archimedes to move a large ship in the navy. On the appointed day, Archimedes set up his system of pulleys and the result was that the ship moved as smoothly and evenly as if she'd been in the sea. Pulleys have played an important role in making work easier and more efficient throughout history, including hoisting our brute of a dinghy. Actually, Lenny woke us up because he was having a dream where he was giggling and I just, I thought it was so cute. 
So he woke us up before the sun, but that was fine because we were planning on waking up early anyway. And he had his arm caught in his t-shirt. And he had his arm like wrapped inside his t-shirt. And he's like, Mama, help! And I'm like, what have you done? Like, I don't even know how he did that in his sleep. Anyway, picked up Maureen. We lugged our gear on board and we We have a full day of sailing today. Let's see if the wind picks up. Probably not. You know how it is on this boat. We can only sail in 15 knots of wind. And I don't think that's happening today. But yeah, it's been nice. The last place was a beautiful island. The sand was really white, which is different because a lot of it's volcanic, so dark black sand. But we've hit up some white sandy beaches recently and I feel like I'm in just like a tropical paradise, really. And it's nice to be moving, new anchorages all the time. We're on a mission to go around the northern part of Lombok and over to Sumbawa to free dive with the whale sharks. That's gonna be incredible. I hope we can make it there in time because of my meltdown. I'll link the episode in the comments below. Um, put us behind so we no longer have as much time on this boat as we initially No, had. it bought us time. Now we've got heaps more time because we're it slowing did, down. It bought us time, you're right. If that didn't happen, we'd still be working our heads off, but not anymore, my friends. <laughs> Eli's on vacay mode forever. Baby, which story shall we read? This to mean or this to small? So Elena was talking before about how it feels good to be moving again, which reminded me of, I heard Dr. Andy Golpin talking to Galpin, Golp, I don't know how to say his name, with Huberman about how they're, they're inclined to say this because of their field of expertise, but probably they're right, and I have heard it in other places, that the human brain is just built to get the human moving like everything much of what goes on in here is geared towards movement do you mean like movement from like daily movement to migrating move, move the body like the humans well, migrating? The, the word that they used was movement and okay. i know i feel so much better if we're on the move and yeah. i wonder if that's a if that harkens back to nomadic tribes and you know humans 10,000 BC or 250,000 BC. Get our blood, baby. Tuna and spaghetti. Getting noodles. Is it yum? Yeah. Good. Keep the boat pointing this way, where those clouds are. Okay? Go well. that way a bit. That's it, keep it there. Hey. It's all yours, mate. It's all yours.
not a sea snake, great. We're just trying to find a mooring ball that looks like it's a public mooring ball. Oh yeah, those ones look right. Deserves a high five after that day. Woo! Yes! Well, well. well done, and we Maureen! Did it. Good and job, darling! Yes. <laughs> Very good. Now, Lolly, uh, okay, yeah, let's go into town. Let's go find <laughs> some yep. sand. Yeah. yeah, we may have had to bribe the kids with lollies just to behave for that last <laughs> final come on. Yeah, I'm a terrible parent, I don't Boys little treat. You're very lucky. Pardon? Booby bed. You wanted to go on the boat again? Booby bed. You sleep with dad now. Yeah. I don't have boobies. Bed. Bed? Okay. What did you paint? What did you paint? Look at my painting. What is it? I don't know, but it, it looks like a, a bit of, well, it's the map to show us where to go. Oh, for today's hike? Yeah. Okay. We've just come in for coffee and we're planning on this hike today. <coughs> We just spent the morning like researching what the best one was and Riley really wants to bring both of the kids. I think maybe like Darwin sleeps in the middle of the day, we might have to carry him a lot of the way. Anyway, I'm going to have a coffee first then we'll make some more decisions. Well once again a lot of time slipped by without us doing any filming. It's been really good to have Grandmama hanging out with the kids. She's just so, she really is amazing with the kids and she's been beautiful to watch them spending some time together. You lost your hat, that's another update. I lost my hat, so I'm gonna be wearing Elena's, I love this one. The wind blows through it, it's beautiful. What do you guys think of this hat? <laughs> this is my new hat. Put a poll up on Instagram, people think it's sick. Riley hates it. We are really starting to run out of time to get over to the next island to do some diving with the whale sharks. That's the long term plan. Short term, we wanna do a hike of some sort and shorter, shorter term, plan is we need to slip this mooring ball, not crash into this reef over here and go over to the mainland. What are they saying, Geraldine? Cat, you gone. <laughs> you bogey. Cat, you gone. <laughs> they were away. Yep. Whoa. Big wake, Lenny. Big wake. Hang on. Whoa. Are you driving today? Yeah. Where are we going? Uh, Lumba. Good boy. Back. We're back. And I've been wanting to update you guys just on all things sailing the vagabond, like vagabond adventures. Um, Jack and Etta have been going really well on the vagabond second, our old boat, running charters in the Bahamas, and we have a flotilla with Navagare yachting coming up this summer in Europe, in Greece. The place where it all started for Riley and I. It's gonna be amazing, island hopping through the Greek islands, like 
that is just one of my favorite things to do. So I'll pop that link in the description box below if you want to learn more and book a cabin on one of the boats. There's many boats. It's for everyone, kids, grandparents, people who want to party. Vagabella Swim, my swimwear line, we're making the next collection. We've made a collection, we're gonna drop that soon and we're working on the next collection already. That's been a slow process just because they are slowly made using recycled fibers. I'll pop that link in the description box below if you want to grab a bikini. Progress with our app um, for all seafarers is coming along really well and some things have happened recently that has got us so excited. Yeah, this really could be the thing that we look back on and is like a big achievement. <laughs> no, an app can't be a bigger achievement than the North Atlantic crossing. That will forever just be the highlight of our lives, I think. I've still got the Little Sailors ABC book for sale. I'll pop that in the description box below. Myself and Tessa, the illustrator, we worked on it together and it's just so gorgeous. I read it to the boys all the time, they love it. A is for anchor, B is for boom, C is for catamaran, obviously. And I'm actually working on another book with Penguin at the moment, which I'm so excited about. It's another kid's book. Um, I brought Riley to tears today, actually. We saw the illustrations with all the text in it. We're just making some final adjustments and it is the most beautiful kids book. I'm so excited. So yeah, you'll hear more about that when I publish it, which is actually gonna be in December. So we still got a while. And yeah, the new trimaran is still coming along. We just got a bunch of photos and videos from the factory. And myself, Riley and the kids, um, we're actually going to be going on a journey around the world. We probably haven't told you this yet, but after we get off this boat, we're going to fly around the world and look at a bunch of unique vessels take you for boat tours, take you for sails. And these are some like pretty awesome boats. Like you should hear Riley's cackle when he's like, oh my God, this company wants to work with us. Like, can you believe we get to go on one of these boats? And then after that, we're gonna go back to the factory and hopefully set sail on the trimaran, finally. Hope you can absorb all that. Then you get out of the sun, this is bloody deadly out here. Remember to slip, slop, slap everyone, really and get skin cancer checks. We do every year and a half at this rate and um, just do it. It's so easy and it just puts your mind at ease for a bit, but do cover up. Easy and such a beautiful mooring ball. Look at that. That's a great mooring ball. Looks We're super very, safe. very, very happy with that one. And before I forget, I actually forgot to mention another SLV thing we're affiliated with um, that we love. Young Cruisers, if you haven't become a member yet, it's free. Whether you're already cruising, you will go out on the weekends, sailing, or you're planning on buying a boat in the future, or you just want to be a part of it. Are you okay? Yeah, I just need help. What have you done? I just need help. Okay, what can I do? Just put the second one on here. <sighs> okay. Do you need your help? I did, yeah. Yeah, join up. It's a really nice community to be a part of. It's just nice to see what everyone else is doing too on the Instagram page. You can also find other members with the interactive map that's on the website. And once we have the app, it's all just going to be amazing. It's all going to be perfect. <laughs> okay, we did it. We're at a marina and this is where we plan to get a lift up into the mountains and do a hike. I'm really craving just to just walk for a steady few hours. How many kilometres do you reckon you can handle, Maureen, in this heat? Oh. Uh, it, it walking? Yeah. Oh. Mm. Maybe, <laughs> maybe five. Okay. What have you got, darling? A car. Yeah. Baby! Yeah. Alright, so what's happened? We've given a, a manual, which is great. Uh, Toyota, probably mid 90s model with no fuel. So we left, we left the town, I should have checked, we left the town, went past the petrol station and uh, I looked down and it was just sitting on empty. Now we're in the mountains with monkeys. It. Look at this, monkeys everywhere. They're feeding the monkeys. Uh, and yeah, we're going to go climb a mountain to a waterfall. Lenny is very excited. Okay, so we made it to the petrol station, hallelujah. You would not believe how hard it is to find a single healthy snack. Like, I just really struggle here. Horrible.
What's happened here, Elena? It's obviously just fallen out of there. Look at that. Come away from there. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Getting a stick for the monkeys. That'll do nicely. <laughs> this is a beautiful trail. The steepest drop to the right, and the water is like running down here, I guess, from the waterfall. Oh. We reckon, Mum? Hey, fantastic. I finished for putting water on the trees to help us save. So the locals we met back there, they're collecting something from the top of the trees. Um, it was very hard to speak with them because we don't know any Indonesian or very little and they did not know English. But they're collecting something from the top of the trees, um, not coconut, something else. And they built like a ladder out of bamboo, which does not look safe. But they're all so light, I bet you they just yeah, do that with ease. And I've already said about 10 times how beautiful this trail is. Like we are completely protected from the rain right now. Probably shouldn't speak to the sun. Yeah. <laughs> it sounded like it just got heavier. It did. Oh God, okay. We're about to get wet. Oh yeah, we're about to get wet. We didn't bring any raincoats. Okay, so what? What's the plan? Well, I mean, I'm quite wet already. It's not yeah. going to get much worse. M maybe the camera would get wet. Oh, the yeah. phones are okay. I don't know. Lenny will get tougher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, My ass isn't wet, no, it's so I'm not. pretty happy. Yeah. It's yeah, what it's a backpack's good for. And for carrying things. We're just saying how alive we all feel. It's pretty nice being caught in the how rain. But luckily we luckily we had shiny waterproof bags. No need to rush before. Um that's a drop. Yes. Okay. This is ridiculous. This is hilarious. The biggest I'll ever check the weather. Smoothie. Whoops, here he goes, Ross. Hi. Hi. Okay, now it's done. That's a hole. Yeah, but it's, it has got a lot of holes. Lombok is definitely worth visiting, you guys. It's just as beautiful as Bali, maybe even more spectacular, in my opinion. But yeah, without the traffic or the tour buses. The Mount Rinjani National Park is what the island is famous for and it covers about 41,000 hectares and is home to many endangered plants and animals. boat smells. Yeah. I messaged Torrent and said when I do the transfer can it overfill the main tank um, of diesel. with diesel and spill into the bilge and he said is the overflow is the coke bottle overflowing and I was like no and he goes all right well it's not that then so I'm brainstorming what that might be it could be black water it could be poo poo in the bilge um, so we're I'll go back there and figure that out this afternoon, but in the meantime, we're doing a visa run. We have to extend our visa. So we need to, Elena needs to wear long pants and cover her shoulders. And there's no water in the hotel. But there's a really cheap place that we're staying overnight. 
and there's no water there and the car that we've been given this morning again has no fuel. All right, let me just elaborate. So we had to switch cars. We got a rental car yesterday. The fuel tank was on empty. And I messaged him like, hey, like this is weird. It was on empty. And he just said, yeah. And he said, I'll swap the car for a better car this evening. So this morning we woke up with a slightly better car. Not really, it's a bit dodgy to drive. And the fuel tank's empty again. So the fuel we put in the car yesterday has just gone to waste. And I don't know if it's worth like even mentioning whatever. Um, yeah, and the boat stinks, so we got this hotel room, and hopefully we can figure out the situation so that we can continue on our voyage over the north of Lombok to get to these whale sharks. Well, and also that bay that we're in is just completely unprotected, so the boat was rolling around like this, and we've got Grandma here, so yeah. Luckily, yeah, yeah. we're used to boat life, and we could manage just fine with oh, a little trickle no, of water. I would have preferred a bit of pressure, to be honest. It's yeah. <laughs> always nice. Yeah. All right, fuel with me. This is the petrol station, Lenny. We're in immigration. We do, because... That visa run took way longer than expected. We were in that waiting room for three hours in the end. And I just kept like showing Darwin as he was crying to the people like, please let us, let us push in. But you don't get those kind of privileges in a customs immigration office. You do at the airport though. One benefit of having children at the airport is you just skip all the lines anyway. It's been a big day, we're just going back to the boat to grab a few things. Grandmama leaves tomorrow, which is very sad for everyone. She's been unbelievably helpful looking after all the kids. Um, what are we going to do when you go? What? Yeah, I don't know. Oh. It's one, one thing about our life that always makes me second guess what we're doing is, you know, not being able to hang around Grandmama, etc. as much as I'd like. But. Let's go find out what this smell is, Elena. Alright. What was that? Just fell on my finger. There was one thing that Torren said where I may have left boards. Yeah, that stinks down there. <laughs> No, I didn't leave anything on. And that's fuel, that smell. Really? Mm. That just stinks. It it's smells like the kids have dropped an old sandwich or something down there. <laughs> no, it's fuel. So, th these are the valves. Look at me when you're talking. Th these two red valves here, Elena. Mm. He said, make sure that Coke bottle there isn't over full, and it's not. And then he said, make sure that you haven't left them in the on position, which I haven't. So now, now I don't know what, this is in my boat. Can you, can you send some photos of that to Torrent? Okay, yeah. So I just want to empty this out and then I can see if it fills up again. And normal, like what, what you can do is you can if you really clean everything, you can put paper towels around Elena and then follow where the diesel comes from mm. and trace back a leak. It could just be that there's a bit of water in there or a lot of water and a little bit of diesel, which is what I hope. I'm gonna need, some, I mean, I'm gonna, we have to go to the supermarket. I need some gloves and mm. a pump mm -hmm. and well, like, yeah, it's a pretty serious. Thing and a disposable container of some sort. I know it's gonna happen. I'm gonna find somewhere to store this stuff and whoever goes to store it's just gonna throw it on the beach. Mm. Passports, gone. The passports are gone. Yeah, so um, the weird thing was they wanted to keep our passports. One guy told me six days and we might get them back. Another guy said three, but the problem is we wanna leave Lombok. Sorry, do you wanna it's just a really weirdly framed shot. 
that looks weird to me. Yeah. Okay, what's going on? So we got that sorted, the camera is now even. Riley can relax. Um, so yeah, we don't have our passports. They're in an office. Like, it seemed like a great office. Everyone seems legit. Our passports have not been stolen. Do you but guys hand them over? It, sometimes you go to a hotel and they're like, passport, and, the, and I'm like, okay. And then they take it. I'm like, no, give my passport back. Yeah, ours went like missing for an hour. I think I had a panic attack. That's pre like breakdown. This is the days leading up to the breakdown. Someone took Where our passports that? to scan it. Like some guy without a uniform. We gave him the passports and he never came back. And then the other staff were like, who did you give your passports to? And we're like, someone who said he worked here. And I was like, shit, we've just had our passports stolen. I walked into the room, had a panic attack. Do you yeah, remember? Yeah, you were freaking out, yeah. Mm. So, uh, <laughs> Our passports will be delivered back to us very soon. That's not even a big deal. I don't know why we've just spent 60 seconds talking about our passports, but anyway. There's a diesel leak of some kind. Yeah, we're waiting to hear back from Torin. I need to figure out. Grandma Ma's going. Yeah, and we're, we're just really excited to get over to Sumbawa. Um, yeah. Oof, depends on this engine. Yeah. I guess we'll see. Um, and there's a huge storm coming, so it's got to rain. Grandma and I wanted to go for a walk this evening, but we're not going to get to. No. That's probably all from us. Um, if you liked the long format video again, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps, and we want to make more. What I, I really like these, making these, because there's time for us to talk like this with you guys. I feel very relaxed, and like I can convey information and also just be myself. Yeah. Um, so if you like that too, then it would be great if you could reward our effort somehow. Um, there's going to be a sponsorship deal in here. We also are still operating on Patreon. You get your videos frequently a week early um, and without advertising. If you don't like advertising, that's one way to uh, avoid it. You can give it a thumbs up. You can comment. Yeah, give us a comment. Um... Watch the whole thing through from start to finish. That's a big one actually. So if you're here and you haven't and you skipped out on a section in the middle, go back and watch it. Mm. Anyway, yeah, we are we are really, really trying to work hard on these. Yeah, so. we don't want to deliver mindless like dopamine hits of videos that are just are meaningless. Let's slow it down. We gotta make a change. <laughs> it's the way to be. Can you tell my supplements are working? Is that a, an ashwagandha? Love ashwagandha. Not going to be going giving out medical advice because I've done that before and gotten in trouble. Okay. See you all next week. Or are we going to take a week off? Who knows, man? <laughs> <laughs> things are going really well. Yeah, things we're, are going really well. We're really excited. Despite, you know, the challenges that we've had recently, I really, really love my life and love sharing it with you guys. Ah, oh, yeah. that's enough. Come on. Yeah, right. Okay. See ya.